On my honor, I attest that this video is the product of my own work alone and that I understand and have followed the leather and spirit of the rules by which this final exam project is being given. So for the first question, a scientific theory that explains why the sun shines is the proton-proton chain, chain or quantum tunneling, which states that protons banging together can make a, deut a deuteron, two protons and a neutron create helium-3, and then two, a proton, two neutrons, and a proton make helium-4, and therefore this process of nuclear um, diffusion or um, deficient um, allows the sun to shine, which was tested and can be falsified, which is why it's scientific. And it was tested by Ray Davis in the um, gold mine experiment. Um, and it was found that and calculated that there was neutrinos, but only half the amount, which means that the theory was right that there were neutrinos in the sun, but it was shown that there was still work that needed to be done to understand why, which was that there were different properties when these neutrinos entered the earth. And um, that is why it's scientific. A non-scientific theory is that the sun shines due to the fact that you notice every morning it comes up and you, it makes things glow, but you can't really measure a test that, oh, it comes up in the morning and things glow. Like it's just your personal experience. It's not really scientific because you can't test that. But a pseudoscientific theory is similar, except it's something that's like completely unfalsifiable and you can't really like do much about, which is that, oh, because God makes it shine. You can't disprove that. You can't, there's no counter argument really like that can go against that. And so it's pseudoscientific.